So initially what we're going to do as part of our maintenance, we're going to clean the filter. Pretty easy, just take the top off. There's a filter in here. You know, be sure it's clean. Obviously this is a new one, so the filter's clean. Existing one gets dirty every 500 hours or so, you want to clean it. Sometimes more frequently, depending on where you're at and what you're doing. Soap and water, get it good and dry when you're done. You can reinstall it or just replace it. To disassemble the unit, we take the four screws loose in the bottom. Remove the four screws in the bottom and uh, disassemble it. Flip it back over. Just pull the top right off it. Pretty simple process. Set this side. In here, there's a couple of diaphragms and diaphragm blocks. There's a linear action. That's why they call it a linear aerator. It goes back and forth on a magnet and a couple of uh, coils. So over time, these are wear these diaphragms in here and they'll slow down and they'll do, uh, uh, produce less air because they get wore down. So you have to replace them every two, three years, sometimes a little longer depending on your conditions. So we'll show you how to do that real quick here. You want to remove all the screws from the chamber block and the diaphragms and then just take off this little uh, clamp here. Take that off of the rubber hose. And remove that from the chamber block and then take your chamber block off. And uh, after that, you can see there's just a nut and a flat washer here holding the diaphragm on. You go ahead and remove that nut and washer. Pull your diaphragm off of there. Now, obviously this is a new one, so it's in good condition and these are extra heavy duty, but um, you'll, you'll want to replace that, both of them, every time and your diaphragm block because in here's a little check valve, like a little rubber check valve. And sometimes they'll get hot and worn and, and tore up over time. So you want to replace both pieces at the same time. So in the kit, it comes with diaphragm blocks, diaphragms, and then uh, new nuts and washers and a filter. So everything you need is right there to do a basic rebuild. The diaphragm, you can tell, this side goes to the uh, shuttle and the other side is where the washer and nut goes on. So when you put it on there, there's a little uh, offset here. Just match up the offsets with this facing the shuttle, of course. Just snap it right in there, nothing to it. And then put your washer and nut on there and tighten them down nice. It's a lock nut, so it'll stay in place for you. So just tighten it till it's tight. Don't have to overdo it and strip it or break it out, but just a good tightening, like that, okay? And then a chamber block just slides right over that. Same thing, you can see the little slot here and a little tab here for the, uh, for the uh, assembly. Go ahead and uh, align them too, push it on there, and then reinstall your screws. Make sure it seats good in the seam. You know, make sure when you're done that seam is tight in there and you'll see as we pull this bolt in it'll tighten up nicely. No gaps in there. All right, so that's about all for changing the diaphragm out. And then go ahead and reconnect your hose. Get her on there good. All the way on there. Put your uh, Clamp back on her. And then do the same on the other side, exact same procedures. And then you're ready to put it back together. We've replaced both sides and everything's up with the new parts. Everything looks good with the, with the coils and the shuttle. No problem with the shuttle. So you can go ahead and put your cover back on. Be sure that when you do it, this cord end fits good in here so it doesn't get pulled out. It fits right into that housing. Go ahead and reinstall everything. Put your screws in there. So you want to put this, this hose bib is for a low air pressure alarm. So uh, some units have remote alarms, and we have them with the alarm on there or, or remotely. So you'll put this plug on there, you won't need that. 
for, for this. You only need it if you're going to have a low pressure alarm. And then you want to take the, the supplied filter, put that in there, good air filter. Everything looks pretty good. Tighten her back up and we'll plug her in. So now we got the new diaphragm kit in there. Everything looked good, the coils, the um, shuttle looked good, everything inside looked good, nothing looked burnt, so it's just a matter of replacing the war diaphragms. And we'll plug it in and see how it goes. So there you go, you got good pressure, sounds good. Running good, you're ready to install.